Now, what is going on everyone? Today, we're going to take a look at PDF kit and how to generate PDFs on your Express server. And what we will do is we will directly stream the document to the client. So we will not store it on our file system or buffer everything completely in memory before sending it back. Uh, we're basically going to send it back like on the fly as we receive the data. And I think that's the, the thing that we want to do here in this tutorial. And uh, yeah, let's just get started. So before we can get started, let's make like some directory. I'm going to say PDF kit node tutorial, right? I will CD inside of this tutorial and I'm going to say npm init dash yes. And I will install express directly and this library here, it's called uh, PDF kit. So PDF kit and we also or we could install NodeMon just so we don't have to do like, so we don't have to cancel, uh, stop the server and restart it again because this is kind of like really annoying. Yeah, so once that's done installing, we can open up the project. Uh, PDF kit is quite a good tool. It's uh, pretty simple. Uh, you can do literally anything with it. We will just create a simple PDF file because I just want to show you how to use it in uh, together with Express.js and then you can figure out the document by yourself. Okay, so let's see. Should be done in a second. Yes, okay. Let's open this thing up. Oh, actually, we should create like an index.js file. Yeah, here it is. Cool, first thing to do is let's create this uh, dev script, so not one index.js. And apart from that, I will just really, really quickly set up some uh, express server. So I will say import it, I will create a new uh, server, and then I will say express.json. So we plug in the JSON parsing middleware and then we say uh, app.listen so we want to listen on port 8080 console log server running on port 8080 cool and i'm a big fan of uh, properly separating like the routes from the main or from the main file here from the index.js file so that's why i will create like a new directory called routes and in here I will just put in like a small router and this router is just going to have one method. Uh, let's just call it invoice. Let's pretend we are trying to create an invoice. All right, so here's our handler. Typically you would add that to some controller level, but for this tutorial, I think this is just fine. So now we're done with all the setup pretty much. Let's just hook the router up inside of our um, Express server. So uh, app.use router. Okay, nice. So that should do it. And now we can actually start working on the PDF stuff. Now, what I would suggest is that we make a new directory called service. And inside of this service directory, let's add the PDF service just to have the logic of generating the PDF uh, in a separate file. Oh, I accidentally made a PDF. That's not what I wanted. PDF service JS. Yes. Okay. And how does this now work? Okay. So let's make like a function. I'm just going to call it build PDF and let's export this function as well. Yeah, and we can make use of this library now. So let's go to the PDF kit documentation, scroll down a little bit, and you can see how this works. So you import like this PDF uh, document, and then you create a new document, then you write it somewhere. We will directly write to uh, back to the client, so stream the data. I'll show you how to do that. And then you can, you know, put in some text okay so that's why i'm just going to get this and i will just import this over here so import like pdf kit 
and I will say, okay, const document equals new PDF document, right? That's how it is, or that's how they do it in the documentation here. And here you can see, okay, here you can write some text. So I will just copy that as well. At the moment, we don't really care much, like what do we actually put inside of the PDF, right? Because we just want to see how to use this package together with Express. So yeah, some, some heading, yeah. So let's just say we just create one PDF. We add like a heading to it and then we say doc.end and that's it. And the question now is instead of, or instead of piping it to like some output file, we want to write it to the client. And the way we can do that is we can just use callbacks. So we can say, okay, once you receive some data, so once a small part of the uh, PDF has been generated, uh, just invoke like this callback. And the same for uh, should happen, but that obviously only happens once if everything is done. And these callbacks here, they are very important because we are just going to pass in like some, uh, like these callbacks from our express handler. And that means our express handler is just going to receive the data. It's going to send it back to the client. And once it's done, it's going to terminate the connection and that's it. And like, so we don't buffer the complete file in memory before sending it back, but we basically send it back as we receive it. So this is like a very efficient way of doing it. So let's go over here. And what we need to do is like, normally you send something like this, right? But we now want to send back a stream of data. And to do that, we can create a new variable. And the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, write like the header for our response. So we need to say, okay, I, it's all fine. Status code 200. And what I also want is I want the following uh, additional headers. So we are returning like a PDF. That's why we're returning application slash PDF. So the MIME type. And then there's an additional header, which is called content disposition. Now content disposition basically tells the browser, Hey, look, um, or tells the browser whether this data should be displayed inside of the browser window or whether you are just downloading an attachment. And in that case, we just want to download an attachment. So we're just going to hard code invoice.pdf as a file name, and it's always an attachment. And now what we can do is we can just supply, uh, like to our PDF service, which we haven't imported yet. Uh, require service PDF service. Now we can invoke this method and bear in mind that this method is based on callbacks, right? So as we, as soon as we receive a chunk of data, we immediately write it out over our connection. Yeah. And as soon as it's done, we just say, okay, now the stream is done. Yeah. So that's it pretty much. So it's pretty simple, right? Take this thing, make like some service, which has like some callbacks and then gradually write the data chunks out. And once it's done, we just close the connection. So that should work. Um, I hope so. At least maybe let's try to run this. Let's run npm run dev. And I would say, let's just try this out. So let's go to a browser. Let's go to localhost and let's, oh, nice. Did you see that? Like I just hit uh, localhost 8080 invoice and then I downloaded this invoice over here. And if I open it, you can see, ah, uh, nice. It does have some heading involved. Yeah, so that is how you stream PDFs from your express server with PDF kit back to the client without storing it on the file system. Yeah, and apart from that, I would also encourage you to, to go through this documentation here. I will not show you how to change the size of a font because I think it's boring. Uh, you can do that by just looking at the documentation. There's also some really nice uh, guide here as well. 
uh, which is also linked in the uh, project. So you can go through that guide and figure out like how this one works. Cool. So that's it pretty much. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have a question, just leave me a comment. I will put the code of this thing in the description also. And uh, yeah, if you want to send me a tweet, my Twitter handle is at production coder. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye bye.